Okay, um, I want to uh, talk about current funding and then I want to start talking about solutions and what we can do and what we will do to stop this or at least change uh, this. Um, the last thing I want to do to demonstrate the problem, however, relates to a few statistics. And Ryan, I want to ask you a little more about the 501c system and, 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 and what Capital Research Center and you are doing in a second. But first off, I just wanted to give a sense of the amount of money we're talking about here in the present day. So there are about six to 8,000 Islamic organizations in the US. I use that six to 8,000 because not all of them are incorporated. Some of them are backroom mosques. Others are sister projects of existing institutions or indeed, as we discussed, related organizations that are reforming and so on. Um, but of those six to 8,000, four and a half thousand, I'm sorry, um, uh, 5,000 are 501c3, or sorry, 501c organizations. That's mostly C3, but it includes a number of other C types uh, uh, among them. Of those 5,000 501Cs, about half, just over half, in fact, file tax returns, file 990 tax 990, returns. Yeah. This allows us, in this age of electronically filed tax returns, to get a sense of the money, get a sense of how the money moves, get a sense of revenue, of expenses, of assets, uh, and a few other interesting fields. Um, the Middle East Forum has been running these numbers for quite a, a while now, and we download each new trove of, of IRS release data and, and see what's there. We cross-reference against this huge list of Islamic organizations we have, of which we believe just over a third, if not more, closer to half, have Islamist links. What this shows is that American Islam as a whole, so I'm not just talking about the Islamists here, but Islam. Um, American Islam has just over $3.2 billion of assets. 